Assalamu alaikum viewers it's me Muhammad Naman Sadak with the new video in this video we will learn what is binomial logistic regression what are its assumption and how to run and interpret the binomial logistic regression in SPSS first we will learn what is binomial logistic regression a binomial logistic regression is used to predict a dichotomous dependent variable based on one or more continuous or nominal independent variable it is most common type of logistic regression and is often simply referred to as a logistic regression here we should know that a dichotomous variable is one that has only two possible values when observed or measured for example gender is a dichotomous variable and it has two possible values that is male and female while conducting a binomial logistic regression in SPSS we must have follow some assumptions and there are six assumptions that underpin binomial logistic regression if any of these six assumptions are not met we might not be able to analyze our data using a binomial logistic regression here we will discuss uh, all the assumptions step by step the first assumption of binomial logistic regression is that our dependent variable should be measured on a dichotomous scale. For example, we are considering a dependent variable that is risk level and it is categorized into two options and first one is no and second one is yes. In this way, we will develop our dependent variable that should consist of two categories. The second assumption is that we should have two or more independent variable which should be measured at a continuous or nominal scale or level an example of the continuous uh, variables include heights and that is measured in feet or inches temperature in degree centigrade salary measured in us dollar etc and along this our uh, nominal variables include gender and that is uh, categorized or grouped into male and female the next assumption is we should have independence of observation which means that there is no relationship between the observation and if we do not have independence of observation we most likely have repeated measures and we will need another type of statistical test the fourth assumption is that there needs to be a linear relationship between any continuous independent variable and the log transformation of the dependent variable the first assumption is that our data must not show multicollinearity which occurs when we have two or more independent variables that are highly correlated with each other the sixth and last assumption is that there should be no significant outliers high leverage points are highly influential points which repeated which uh, represents observation in our, in our data set that are in some way unusual these can have a, a very negative effect on the binomial logistic regression equation and that is used to predict the value of the dependent variable based on the independent variable on the binomial logistic regression in spss we are considering an example where we have uh, four variables first one is gender and it is categorized into male and female uh, second variable is marital status and a third one is income level all uh, these three variables are independent variable in current uh, for current study and, and the next one is risk lever risk lever is considered as dependent variable in present study or example and here we ask investor either they like risk during investment or not and investor were asked to give responses by selecting yes or no option now we will learn how to run the binomial logistic regression in spss to run binomial logistic regression in spss and we first click on analyze and then select the regression from options and then binomial logistic regression from sub option here when we click on this logistic regression dialog box is open here we can see all of our variables are shown on left side beside this and there is an option for dependent variable and for covariates now we will transfer our dependent variable that is risk lever into the dependent box and then we will transfer our independent variable into the covariate box by clicking on this arrow here we should know that for a standard logistic regression we should ignore the previous 
and max button because they are for sequential logistic regression and from method we will select the forward method now we will click on the categorical button we will be presented with the logistic regression defined categorical variable dialog box here we transfer the categorical independent variables or for example we are selecting gender from the covariate box to the categorical covariate box in the change contrast area change the reference category from the last option to the first option or keep it same as it's depend upon uh, how uh, we set up our data and in this example female are to be compared to male and with males acting as the reference category and who are coded one therefore first is chosen now we will uh, click on the options button after clicking on this we will present it with logistic regression option dialog box here in the statistics and plot area we will uh, click on the classification plot Hosmer lamb show goodness of fit case wise options and in the display area we will click uh, on at last step option after this we will click on continue button and we will return back to the logistic regression dialog box and uh, now we will click on the ok button and this will generate the output sheet now we will discuss uh, all the table step by step first uh, table is case processing summary the case processing summary simply tells us about how many cases are included in our analysis for example here total cases are uh, 60 that are included in our study and uh, with no missing sample second table is dependent variable encoding the dependent variable in coding reminds us how our outcome variable is coded. For example, in our study, uh, we have coded 0 for no risk and 1 for risk taking during investment decision. The third table is about categorical variable coding. This table uh, simply shown how our categorical variables are coded. In our example, we just included gender in categorical variable coding process. So this table only show gender where zero is for male and one for female. The next set of output is under the heading of um, block zero beginning block. Under this head, and there are three tables. This set of table describe the baseline model that uh, include our explanatory variable. And the prediction of this baseline model are made purely on whichever category occurred most often in our data set. And uh, in our example, the model guesses yes, because more participants are inclined toward risk during investment. And the overall percentage row tells us that this approach is, uh, and this approach to prediction is corrected 56.7%. The next table is variation in the equation table and this table shown the coefficient for constant beta. This table is not particularly important but we have highlighted the significant level to illustrate a cautionary tale. According to this table the model with just the constant is not a statistically significant predictor of the outcome. Uh, because our uh, significant value is greater than 0.05. By skipping the next table, uh, that is variable not in the equation because this table is not uh, shown any significant value that should be included in our explanation. Now we are moved to the regression model that includes our explanatory variable. And the next set of table began with the heading of block one method inter. Here the omnibus test of model coefficient is used check the new uh, that the new model is an Im, uh, improvement over the baseline model. It uses chi-square test to see if there is a significant difference between the uh, log likelihood of the baseline model and the next model. Here the chi-square uh, is significant so over 
new model is significantly better and here we should know that there are three different variants first one is step second is block and third one is model the model row always compare the new model to the baseline and in the step and block rows are only important if we are adding the explanatory variable to the model in a stepwise or hierarchical manner the next important table is model summary in order to understand how much variation in the dependent variable can be explained by the model we uh, can consult the table model summary this table contain the cox and smil or square and nagli karki or square value which are both methods of calculating the explained variations these values are uh, same like r square in uh, multiple regression and these are interpreted in the same manner but with more caution in our uh, model we says the explained variation in the dependent variable based on our model range from 12.9% to 17% depending on whether our referencing in the cox and snell or square and nagli karki or square method respectively these values are uh, very low because this data is not representing any research but only for this video we have designed this data the next table is the hasmer lamb show test the hasmer lamb show test of uh, the goodness of fit suggests the model is a good fit to the data or not here if our p value is greater than 0.05 then we say our model is a good fit to the data and in our example hasmer lamb show test shown that model is good fit to the data next table is classification table this table is equivalent to that uh, in block 0 as we see above but uh, is now based on the model that included our explanatory variable as we can see our model is now correctly classifying the outcome of 70% of the cases compared to 56.7% in the null model now the last and most important of all output table is the variation in the equation table uh, sorry the variables in the equation the variables in the equation table show the contribution of each independent uh, each independent variables to the model and its statistical significance the wall test uh, in wall column is used to determine statistical significance impact of each of the independent variable and the statistical significance of the test is found in the significance column from these result uh, we can see that gender is the only variable with significant value 0.020 added significantly to the model prediction and other variable does not shown any significant contribution uh, to the model in this way uh, we can uh, run over uh, binary logistic regression test in spss and interpret